zamani tunahitaji kuwa na focus ama malengo in life Uh, that's one of our biggest areas of need as men focus ili hali ya kutojua ninataka kufanya nini kiliza mtu ungetaka kufanya nini unajua acha nikirie mabuti nikirie hiyo maneno nakutana na yeye after one month namuuliza umeamua unataka kufanya nini ndio bado nafikiria hiyo maneno ngoja tu bado nafikiria hiyo maneno unakutana naye anakuwa mpaka anafikia kuoa bado hajapata nini focus anaoa kama kia namuuliza sasa tunaenda wapi naambia <laughs> ngoja tu ngoja tu maoi nafikiria hiyo maneno <laughs> eh kidogo Junior kanaimu. A junior pia kanamuuliza na dad, what are we doing with our lives? Where are we going? Ka junior, ngoja tu hiyo mambo bado unafanya nini? Nafikiria. A man unahitaji kujilazimisha, mtatumia hiyo word kujilazimisha kupata focus in life. Because Many people depend on you getting that focus. Why? Depends on you. And the man who can't even know how to make it, he's a genius. You know, the man who focuses, he's not funny. Stop. Stop. Stand up, come here, come now. I'm not in the zaki. Now, let's read the Bible. Chapter two of the Ecclesiastes. I say it in my heart. Come now, I will test you with man. Therefore, enjoy pleasure, but surely this also was vanity. So what does he try first? Okay. Uh, what should be my focus? Mm -hmm. uh, pleasure. Then he says, no, 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 no. This is also vanity. <laughs> Two, I say it of laughter. Madness and of mirth, what does it accomplish? Three, I searched in my heart how to gratify my flesh with wine. I tried that while guiding my heart with wisdom and how to lay hold on folly till I might see what was good for the sons of men to do under heaven all the day of their lives. What is he searching? He's searching for focus. Do I try this? Do I try this? How about this? How about this? By the way, what should I as a man do for the rest of my life here on earth? What should occupy me? What should I be busy with? All the days, you see, he's looking for focus. Verse 4. I made my works great. I built myself houses and planted myself vineyards. Ah, so I made them. Let me build houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. Let me also have. Nikuwe na mashamba kada hivi na nipande nini? Niti, nipande plants and vineyards. Shamba ya mizabibu. Ah, I made myself gardens and orchards. Now orchards ni tofauti na vineyards. See here, vineyards ni shamba ya mizabibu. Sasa orchards yeye ni shamba ya machungwa. Now we took away. Yeah, I, I, will, I will do that. I made myself gardens and orchards, and I planted all kinds of fruit trees in them. Hmm. Then it up to shamba. Na ni pande ainayote ya matunda. Kiangalia ukuni maembe, ukuni machungwa, mapera, 
upande ile ni uh, nini avocado uh, eh avocado <laughs> plum upande hii pears upande hii and, and let me have all manner of foods all around me na miza people on top of that uh uh-huh. i made myself water pools from which to water the growing trees of the grove you can almost see the picture eh? <laughs> yeah hata katengeneza pools za maji maji takwe kienda hivi inaenda kwa hiyo shamba ya maembe hii ingine ya machungwa hii ingine and all around mm-hmm. i acquired male and female servants and had servants born in my house yes I had greater possessions of herds and flocks. So nitakuwa na wafanyikazi wengi ambao they will be eating from my table. Na si hiyo tu uh, something else bado nitakuwa mfugaji. Taweka ng'ombe, kuku. I will have all these flocks. Uh, kondo, mbuzi. Uh, I'll have all of them. Then he says I had greater possessions of herds and flocks than all who were in Jerusalem before me. Mm-hmm. I also gathered that was also something else eh. Alikuwa anataka kuwa mbele ya wengine wote. That's why he's saying you see. Takuwa to obviously to number one. Yaani wengine wakiingia kuhusu ng'ombe mimi niko mbele. Wakiingia kuhusu matunda niko mbele machungwa niko mbele mizabibu i will have more possessions than all who were before me in jerusalem i also gathered for myself silver and gold mm-hmm. money 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 i will have plenty of it an account with equity an account with a national bank and standard and everywhere including inje i'll have money kept everywhere and the special treasures of kings and of the provinces i acquired male and female singers hata nitakuwa na waimbaji wa kunivia gapi nikiingia hivi home niko na waimbaji wa mji line up just to sing <laughs> to sing for me <laughs> Uh, sijua kwa na mwimbia style gani sijui kama ilikuwa reggae <laughs> ndio gani but he appointed kama matakuwa na waimbaji wangu they will be singing the delights of the sons of men and musical instruments of all kinds mhm my keyboard my drum sets na hizo zote and they will be playing before me of course in those days kings walikuwa na special musicians who just came to sing to them just to cool their nerves just to make them feel nice to be kings so they would come and dance you remember the story of Herod and Herodias yeah she came and danced before the king until the king said you know what i'll give you half half of my kingdom so this was every king had dancers what were kuja to ku dance mbele yake kufurahisha eh Uh, this is the reason why we like watching music videos <laughs> because uwezi kujitengenezea waimbaji wako nasema NTV yenyewe wameniwekea hapa wacha nipoe nitumbuizo so i became great and excelled more than all who were before me in jerusalem also my wisdom remained with me so on top of that also wisdom be very wise ten whatever my eyes desired i did not keep from them so anything i desired i went for it i did not withhold my heart from any pleasure in other words i never sacrificed anything in life i never said no to anything in life everything was yes this yes this yes this yes this i can try this let me try this i can do it this okay sawa upande i never say no to anything every opportunity that came i went for it i never say no 
I did not withhold my heart from any pleasure, anything that could give me pleasure. For my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my reward from all my labor. Verse 11. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had done, and on the labor in which I had toiled. And indeed, all was what? <laughs> Unbelievable. All was vanity and grasping for the wind. There was no profit under the sun. Hey, what's going on here? Everything I tried to do didn't bring satisfaction. Everything I tried to do didn't bring satisfaction. It was vanity, vanity, no profit, grasping. It was like chasing after the wind. What was wrong with this man? The one thing that would satisfy him, he had never found him. Focus. Kitu ambacho kinge mfraisha hakupata. All this time. He was doing many things, trying many things, but without a clear focus. It was just like living every day to succeed. Trying this, trying that, shika here, kishika here, na shika pa, na shika pa, na shika pa, na shika pa. So there was no really genuine focus. Right? Is it possible for somebody to live like that? <laughs> Have you come across somebody who's living like that? <laughs> so the question is, what is your focus? You must push yourself to answer that question. Push yourself because we avoid it many times. May avoid it. May avoid it. Let me ask, was it easy to choose your career in what one chaguliaga form two? Amanua? Was it easy? Why? Too many opportunities, isn't it? And every once in a while you wanted to copy someone else. What was And you discover even when you choose there, wakati unakuja tena university, course, gani utafanya. I think it's a real challenge today. What course should I do? Sijume gundua mungine anaanza after one year, naona ni chagua kusu mbaya. Hili kusu ni chagua ni mbaya. Wacha ni ruke, ni chukue ingine. Anaruka na chukue ingine. Iyo na naona for one year. Anaruka tena, anachukue ingine. Tuku na mungine hili ndi kwa nafanya kwa kwa. Na hiyo kukosa clear focus in a quarter and pack into a married life ili ana raise jamii na maisha yake yote if it possible for somebody to live like that if you come after you gone throughout your life the one thing that would have brought satisfaction to you is still never found it it was searching and searching and searching and searching now, what was real, the real problem with uh, Solomon? His real problem was uh, too many pursuits. Too many pursuits. Too many. He pursued too many things at the same time. Too many things at the same time. There was a time we were doing a course somewhere, and we were told one characteristic of this generation itakuwa ni hiyo purposelessness na kukosa focus because there is too many opportunities available too many opportunities so we are being 
also one of the biggest challenges of our time in Hill, and there is another one closer to it, lack of commitment to anything. Commitment will be a big, big issue with this generation with the way they comes up going. That is, for somebody to persevere in one thing, or persevere in something until he breaks through, it will be very difficult. And I think to Nayona Kwandoa, Sasa, eh? Kutamitu wana chukua uye, wana wana, anakana ya narudia na wana, anangaye njia, nilisha na wana. Nilichakua vizuri kwa hivyo. Sama nafikiri nige chukua ule siyo huyu. Anafanya nini? So anamuke lakini kichwe kwa hapi, badu inangaye wengine uko nje. Lack of commitment. You always wonder whether you got the right one. Did I get the right call? Did I get the right one? Did I get the right job? Did I all the time? Yani, hakuna ile eti kuwa committed to something until you see it. So, Chidayake was too many pursuits. He pursued too many things at the same time. Too many things in too short a time. Somebody counted na kaona ya komba he came up with about eight goals, and all of them, Solomon wanted to fulfill all the eight goals together. Too many goals. I want this, 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 I want this. Not only that, he pursued the wrong goals. He pursued the wrong goals. What he wanted is satisfaction, but he's pursuing satisfaction through pleasure. It's like the guiding principle for him was pleasure. What makes his heart happy? Pleasure. But so he's pursuing too many goals at the same time, more than eight at the same time. But the second problem, he is pursuing the wrong goals. Why is he doing what he's doing? Pleasure is behind it. Pleasure is what he wants. He wants to that feel good, that which makes his heart happy. Uh, the third thing is that all his goals were self-serving. Self-serving. In other words, you don't see anywhere here where he has a bigger purpose than himself. He's not thinking about making the world better. He's not thinking about making maybe somebody else better. It's just me, self-serving. I think I shared Wakati Kilkotu Nungia Kusi legacy. A real man lives legacy. And he's saying you must always know you were born to impact your generation. Before you leave, do something. Of course, one of the things is to nikuona pata watoto. Sikiacha watoto umeacha kitu wangalamu. Kuna ligas umeacha. Angalau li sababisha mtu flani ya mekuja piniani. But, see beyond that. Man was not created just to arrive and go. So, there are things you can do with your life that will impact your own family, but will also impact other Invest in people's lives. Invest in transforming your community, where the community may be your school, institution. But a man must think in terms of impact that lasts all the time. Eh? And then he despaired because he never identified what he really wanted. <laughs> so what was the reason for his despair? We shown him. He never identified what he really wanted. So after doing all that, did he find what he wanted? No. Actually, that's what I'm telling you. You can read later 
Ecclesiastes chapter 12, because it is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, the whole chapter, that now he finds what he actually, what satisfied his heart. And I could have it as in chapter 12. And that is towards the end of his life. So in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, the one thing that comes up very clearly is that he has now gained some focus. What do we mean by gaining focus? We mean you have your priorities right. You are able to prioritize. That this is the one thing I want to do. And then this is the other thing I want to do, and this is the other thing I want to do. Okay. In making decisions, because you need to make a lot of decisions as a man, decisions must be guided by priority. Decisions must be guided by priority. Don't just say yes because an opportunity has come. I think some of the things ni tatari hapa tulishaongea kuhusu nene. We say it, remember a man must know his priorities. At least when you have too many opportunities, ask yourself what comes first. That is the meaning of priority. First things first first things first. And we mentioned somewhere your relationship with God must always come first. We don't see that in Solomon. See you. Katika Solomon and all his goals, you don't see God anywhere. Yeah? <laughs> the guy didn't have priorities. The guy was talking about <laughs> mashamba, <laughs> manyumba, <laughs> mifugo, nili. And then he was talking about, I want all these things. All these things. You don't see priorities anyway. He just wants to fulfill all these things. And even after getting them, he's not satisfied. Because a man needs to have his priorities right. So he only put a priority. So be guided by your priorities. Where God should be your number one priority. Then ask yourself, what is my competence? Your decisions must be guided by your Competence, your abilities. Please, what you could have book to go somewhere with Kilam to an Ifania at a university to Kiskia Kilam to an Afani engineering with Seme at a mimiti engineering. Nani, come on my sub in a Kukangania. Kunakwaga, Kunakwaga, the subject is in Gina Zina by Sabuni. What you could have Busha when you because I mean, I could have to shine in competence also. Yeah, some people you look at chemistry and you wonder what was wrong with the person who came up with chemistry. <laughs> right? Mungine yeliyanapenda. Well, pengine you're very good in another area. Decisions must be based on your competence, priorities, competence, but also. Once you have decided you want to do something and say something, yes to something, then for you to achieve that thing, you need, please write this, it's a big word, concentration, which is very difficult to do in our times. Concentrate. 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 I just went to emphasize that. Once you have said yes to something, follow through. Concentrate. You can never ever maintain a focus without concentration. Never. Why? Concentration in a kusegia kudil na distraction and there will be many, many distractions. Many, many distractions. 
you must fight with procrastination. Concentration. In Amanisha, what you must do today, you do. You don't say, Itafanya. Aha. What you must do today, you do. Kama Itamanisha, you sacrifice anything, you sacrifice. But you do what? You do it. Don't procrastinate. Usikae kana kwamba itajifanya. Hakuna kitu ujifanya inyewe. You must concentrate. If I've said yes to this, I must concentrate on this until you are in it. Otherwise, utakuwa na very many unfinished. <coughs> you touched this, ukaiacha. You touched this, ukaiacha. You touched here, ukaiacha. You touched here, ukaiacha. You started this, you never finished. You started another thing, you never finished. You started another one, you never finished. Like that, like that, like that. And you can spend the rest of your life living like that. And you don't achieve anything like that in life. Okay? So, the opposite of Solomon is something to never distinguish for a longer time. The opposite of Solomon is um, Paul. Paul had very many things he could have done. Come on, very many things. He was a professor of religion. <laughs> he was a pro of religion. And he studied under the best professor of that time. In fact, Paul describes himself as a Jew of the Jews. Yanu kisha kusanya Jews, ye anakuwa ni Jew. Ukim kusanya farisi, sasa ni anakuwa mfarisai wa mafarisai. You know what he's trying to say? He's telling you I'm accomplished. Pure breed. Jew, yani haina uchafu ndani. Pure breed. Na kwa masomo I have studied pure. Yani katika ufarisayo I have qualified to the best and the highest degree possible. That's why I can make I can produce farisees. I'm not just a farisee, I can actually produce them. And, and he has all these things. There is so much he could have done if he wanted. But then he comes to a place and he says one thing. I do. <laughs> you see how sharp that focus is. One thing I do. Wow. I look at him and I say, hey, is that possible really in this life? Can you be able to say one thing I do? I know it's a problem for all of us. Right? That's all. One thing I do. Yet, when you look at your potential, your abilities, and your strength, and all that, you achieve more with a sharper focus than when you are doing 20 things. Your customer, you can become a jack of all trades, but a master. None. The people about they have impacted this generation in a very deep way, they began with what? A sharp focus. A sharp focus. What are you doing with your life? Where are we going? Are you going with your life? As a man, try to make your focus sharper. So if you had ten goals, Amazon was not scattered all over, bring to and that we let up a moja, I want to identify just a few things that you can concentrate on. That's the one you can concentrate on this and this and this. And I want to encourage you, once you have small victories on one area, it encourages you more and more. Sometimes, you see the way we are feel bad day. He has done so much and he feels it's all kasiburi. That is what breaks many men. A man is broken when his focus is also broken. It's broken. Amo wakati hana focus. A 
anafeel kabisa what am i living here for binaishi for what that sense of purposelessness in life that discouragement done and feeling lost but i want to encourage you maybe you've been there maybe you felt that like that several times i want to encourage you you're not alone solomon who lost so there <laughs> he found <laughs> his focus but i so begin on the core for for some time <coughs> to encourage you it's still possible to set your priorities right just ask yourself what is most important to me and i want to suggest every man god must be number one then with god in his place in your life then begin to bring all these things so sio mbaya ku kutaka kuwa na shamba na kuwa na mifugo na kupanda miti ya matunda na kuwa na servant na kufanya hizo zote but you can't do all of them at the same time <coughs> what is the one thing that you want to do and are you able to concentrate until you do it ha huh? sasa ikuta mtu anaenda anachukua loan ya kununua kitu fulani baada ya ameishika mkononi anasema ama nifanye kitu fulani eh ile kitu alikuwa anataka ameachana na ameingia kwa kitu kingine ama pengine mtu anachukua loan kwanza sasa zimeshuka ni 14.5 cents eh ni mimi anachukua kilo lakini uko jafikiria vizuri kabisa what do you want to do lack of focus in your dream at all na kwa ngizi hizi holes ambazo ni struggling to come into try to reach your focus if you can i know it's difficult to come with your idea in the group but what is your one thing imoka ini mwezi gani september okay when you began the year did you have things you wanted to achieve this year let me remind you what were your goals in january Are you still on track? Ameifika match. Nasema inaonekana sikuwa nimefikia vitu. Hiyo maneno. I think I have something else. Eh? And then ikifika June, I think of something else. Ikifika September then you will do it by the way. Alafu mwaka inaisha unagundua the whole year you achieved. What are the names? Lack of concentration. Either you don't have a focus, or even when you have a focus, you lack what? Concentration. A man <coughs> should have a focus, and a man should concentrate on the focus. Here. and open now for any comments in that area or any additions or any questions let's think together about having a focus is it important to have a focus